Um, everything kind of all started hitting me when I was seven. But I remember how like I used to go from house to house because I was like my grandma's house and my mom's house. But when I was seven, she got really sick. Like she was like she started like showing herself that she was sick and she was like throwing up and she used to like get like really dizzy and just pass out on the floor and I would never knew why no one would tell me so I got to the point where they finally took her to the hospital and then they started explaining to me they were like well this is happening to your mom and they were saying that she had AIDS from my dad so then they sent me into a waiting room while she was back there and my sister was is four years older than me so she was 10 I think so yeah like 10 and they were like oh you can come see her because you know you're 10 years old and you can go see your mom and make sure like tell her that you're here and see if she responds to you and they left me there by myself everything from when my mom died it just the world just kind of went crashing down I felt as if if I didn't have a mom then who can raise me basically that's how I felt because if I don't have a mom, I'm supposed to, I never ha had a mom bond. So it was like I was just a child and I did everything myself. So I was independent, but I was a sad independent. I was lonely independent and I was depressed independent. It wasn't like I can do things on my own independent. When I was 10, I always, I was really interested in like football and like running and doing all this other stuff that other kids were doing and like, but I wasn't able to ride bikes and I wasn't able to walk from here to the corner without getting really, really sweaty and out of breath. And I never understood why. So but finally, at age 13, I went to the heart, my heart doctor and they told me I had four holes in my heart and mitral valve prolapse. So that's why I was so out of breath because I had no blood pumping to my heart. It was just gone. I realized now I'm gonna be stuck inside my whole life because I can't do nothing, I can't go outside, I can't ride bikes, couldn't go on field trips. So then I started getting anxiety because then I realized I can't talk to the walls. I mean, I, I was just stuck in the house my whole life. So I was just kind of just a kid that just, just got de really depressed after that. I came to Orlando Family Church on that Tuesday that second time being at this at Orlando Family Church I was waiting for a moment of like something magical to happen because that's what they always said like you know you go to church and oh you know God touched me but I never understood that so as I was worshiping I would think okay God I'm here for once I'm letting let, give, I'm giving you a chance let me see something show me that my mom is with you show me that I can let go of everything because I don't want to live like this no more and as I was saying that a hot, like a really hot fire, like went into my chest. I felt my mom's hand and he was like, this is her presence. She's okay. She's holding you. You're fine. She's watching you. I but got down to my knees because my legs started shaking and I got down to my knees and I looked up and I was just crying. I just felt happy. I felt like everything was okay now that, she, that I know that she's okay. I came to Tuesday night worship night and I was like, okay, I need to pray for my heart because I don't want to live with that. So I put my hand on my heart and I said, God, heal me. And it felt so powerful. To me, I felt like my chest was completely light that I literally felt like I was healed. I went to the doc I went to my doctor's appointment the next day. I forgot I completely forgot about it. And they did all the tests that they had to do and they called me like an hour later and they were like, I don't know how but all of everything that happened from years on is gone. Like you don't have much about prolapse no more. You don't have full holes and holes in your heart. You're able to throw away your inhaler and go out and do whatever you want now. And ever since then, I just kind of been jumping around and dancing and moving because I'm able to do things without being out of breath. My relationship with Christ, I feel like he what he show, he like gives me the love that I never had in my family or I never had with my mom. So he just made me feel whole and made me feel like a, he makes me feel like I'm worth something. So to me, he's just like, he's just like my best friend. He's just like my, another parent to me.